Ya har mateys! My name be Foxy the Pirate Fox, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Now it's my turn to play. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Ah. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Yeah. Time is money! Okay, where is everyone? So I watched uh, Freddy's video, and I know Stanley that everyone's been around touching oh. every little thing in the office. Hey! It didn't make a single difference. Shut up! Nor did it advance the story in any way? Oh yeah, I'm gonna touch everything, even the windows. Touch the windows. Touch all the doorknobs. Screw you! Ha! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Ah, uh, fine, whatever. Ha! Okay. Well, this is fun. Oh, the meeting room. Hey, everyone. Oh, wait. Here either. Yeah. Feeling away Everyone's gone. Belief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, let's do it. Oh, crap. Broom closet? Well, maybe there's something in here. Huh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet. Oh. But there was nothing here. So oh. he turned around and got back on track. Oh, did I? Or maybe I did this. Ha ha! I'm breaking your rules. I'm sure there's something there in here. Nothing here. No choice oh. to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Oh really? What about this broom? This broom looks awesome. Let's interact with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, awesome it was broom. That Stanley was oh. still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact ha! with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Whoa! Watch your language there, buddy boy. Uh, I can't really talk in that regard, but ha, are whatever. You, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. You're standing around doing nothing? Why? Because it annoys Please you. Offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I just told you. Ha ha. Does this annoy you? Ha ha ha. Stupid narrator. You do realize That's what, there's ah, no choice ah. or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find ah. out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Oh really? Well, uh, that's what you get for annoying me before. It's like, oh, we touched everything in the office. This is somehow yeah. its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get <laughs> the broom closet ending? Oh, the broom closet ending was my favorite." <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh well, I didn't realize I sounded like that. I didn't realize I sound Stanley like this. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Hey! He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Shut up! That or with drug money. Also, oh. Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. That's low, man. That's low. And no, I was hired because well, I'm awesome. I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. Oh, yeah? You're dead. What? You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here. Ah a physical melody of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. No. Oh. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of ha. before it begins to decompose. My body can't decompose. Well, I'm an animatronic. Anyone who happens to be nearby, oh. the person at this computer is dead. Oh, you're funny. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Ah, ha. Of the long -term sustainability so funny. Of species. Please remove their I'm not a human. Area I'm an animatronic. Another human to take their place at the computer. Yeah. Making sure they understand basic first person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. So that the Oh yeah, I really need to know about that. full commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. All right, all right, I had my fun. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. Hey, I'm the same person, you idiot. Do any worse than the person who came before you. Oh, really? Well, you how about if I do this? Unbelievable. Ha <laughs> ha! of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. Ha! <laughs> fish, fungus, 
Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picking. Well, you be a smart landlubber, aren't you? Pick up the story again. All right, whatever. Let's do this. That was fun. Haha. <laughs> I like trolling this guy. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You know what? No. I'm not going to do that. Haha. <laughs> I'm going down this way. Oh yeah. Breaking the rule. But Stanley Ooh, a car. Just couldn't do it. He ah. considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. Ugh. He fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because Who cares? he believed everyone had This job is crap. His boss would think he was crazy. Yeah. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I Wait, what, whoa, 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 what? All of my I saw you already. Mysteriously out of existence in a the hell? moment for no reason at all. None of it made any What's that noise? Sense. Oh. And as Stanley pondered, the door closed. This, he began to make other strange observations. For huh. example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did walls close automatically what the hell? behind him wherever he went? Ah. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Oh god, what's going on? Eating. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This ah, let's get happen. out of here. And at last, he came to the Ah, the car again. The Close the door. He just Close it. Oh. I'm dreaming. Oh. He yelled. Okay. This is all a dream. Well, that he makes sense. Himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Yeah. So, he imagined himself flying and began to jump float above the ground. Nice. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field and it too appeared. Whoa. It was so much fun and Stanley marveled that he had stayed up. How was he remaining so ha -ha. lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Uh oh. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself ah. sooner. Why is there a voice in my head? What's going on? Everything that I'm doing and thinking. Yeah, who are you? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Ah. Uh. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Oh, you're getting back at me now, aren't you? We're going in the closet. I wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Oh, shut up! How could it be? You're hurting my head. Simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Ah! Uh. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Oh, great! Now, hearing the voice speak these words. So, how did I do the stars story. thing? After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Ah! Would the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a Make up your dream? mind, Stanley. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, uh. surely, if he could just. He what? He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Yeah. That this I'll was get a, a dream. soda. Huh. So he closed his eyes gently. Oh, I don't have any. And Whoa. he invited Whoa. himself to wake up. Okay. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Ah. The press of the mattress on his back. Ah, so soft. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Yay. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. Okay. I wish it to be over. Let me go Let's back wake to up. my Come job. On. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. Please. I want my apartment and my wife. And my job. Yes. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Yes. My life is normal. I am normal. No, I'm not. Everything will be fine. No, it won't. Ha. I am okay. Yes. Ah, I'm still here. Great. Stanley began screaming. Please, ah! stop, wake me up. My name is Stanley. Ah, I, have Rod. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell ah, me I am Everything's real. going red. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Oh, ah, I'm going crazy. And everything went black. Ah. Okay. Uh. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella Who the hell? on a day like any other. 
She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Ah! But on this particular day, Stanley's the dad was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. Ah! Oh. Dead on the sidewalk. And although she Poor Stanley. Turned to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was what the hell? crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Ta. I am sane. Well, aren't you I lucky? in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Oh, well, good. And she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. Well, she good for you, Mariella. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Tuh. And then she. What a nice lady! Him. Thanks for leaving me dead on the street. Ah! What the hell kind of ending was that? Huh. All right, guys. Well, I'm assuming that's the end. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys. So, uh. Uh, let us know in the comments if you want to see more of the Stanley Parable. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. And we'll see you guys next time. Yahahar! Bye everybody!